So you're going to knock at the door, introduce yourself, name and title. You're going to address the patient by name. You're going to let them know that you're here to provide foot care. Yes, sir. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so the patient's going to be sitting there. You're going to go use your hand washing technique, of course, before you touch the patient. You're going to come back. You're going to check the ID. After you check the ID, you're going to go and you provide privacy, and you're going to gather your equipment. So you have your basin. You have lotion, you have soap, washcloth, towel, and another chuck that you need for the floor. The person is going to be sitting in the chair. You're really going to wash the person's foot. It's not going to be a dummy. It's going to be on here. They're going to sit here. You're going to remove the shoe and one sock. Only one foot is going to be done for skateboard. They do not want both feet. In real life, you do the both feet. For skateboard, they just want one foot done. All right? So, you're going to come to the patient. Right? You're going to have the chuck handy. You're going to open up the chuck. And place the chuck on the floor. You're going to remove the footwear. You're going to remove the sock. The sock will go in his shoe. You're going to get water. You're going to let the client test the water. Make sure it's not too hot for them. Right? And you're going to place the foot in the basin to soak. While the foot is soaking, you can engage in some conversation. You could ask what they had for dinner last night. Did they have any company? If so, who came? How long did they stay? Did they get to watch their TV show? Just engage in some conversation. Normally, you will have to soak the foot anywhere from, or the feet, anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. But staple, you don't have all that time, so you're just going to soak it maybe three to five minutes while you have the conversation. All right. Mm -hmm. After you soak the foot, you're going to engage in washing the foot completely. So you know you got to do your mitten. All right. So you want to get some soap. And what are you going to wash? You're supposed to sit in front of them. But I don't want to sit in front because then it blocks your view. So you're going to lift the foot, all right, over the basin. You got to wash the top of the foot, right? You also got to wash the heel and under the foot. And you also have to wash in between all the toes. You must. You must wash in between the toes because that's where uh, most of the fungus can lie. Uh, you get that, that crust in between the toes. Hopefully, whoever is your volunteer has nice, pretty feet. And you don't have to worry about this because this is a non-glove skill. You're not using gloves. Mm -hmm. There is no body fluid. Oh. The foot is intact. There's no breakage. There's no sores. There's nothing on the foot but the foot. So you have to wash it without the gloves. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people have, have issues with feet. They don't want to even look at their own feet, let alone let somebody else's. Like my daughter is not going to do the skill. When I was pregnant, I had that big belly. I used to tell her, you know, take off the nail polish and I'm not touching your feet, ma. Mm -mm. She'd be like this with the nail thing. Just touch it the whole. So a lot of people have phobia with feet. You got to get over your phobia. Of course, when you're in the real world, you're going to have clients that the feet are frightful. Yeah, you, as soon as you take off the socks, you're like, in your mind, you're like, oh, wow, what the hell is going on here? The nails are like this, like claws. Like this. The, 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 the heels are like this thick of crust. You're like, how does the person walk on those things? They look like hoofs instead of feet. You know, you got to sand it and grind it and peel it and what you're going to do. But that's real life. So real life you're going to wear gloves because it's 
too much stuff going on with the feet, especially in between. Don't cut, uh, you're not supposed to cut any toenails. The podiatrist, which is the foot doctor, cuts the nails, or the RN. But they will show you how to file. File. And in some cases, you will do snip cut, but it's cut straight across, not on the sides. Because if you get some meat, you'll be in trouble. So, once you wash the entire foot, the top of the foot, the heel, underneath the foot, and all in between the toes, you will immerse the foot back in each time. So each time you immerse the foot back in to rewrap, you're actually rinsing off the foot. So you don't really have to do any rinsing. Okay? You don't really have to do any rinsing. Because logically, if you're wrapping up, right, and you pick up and you wash one part and you put the part back in, it's already rinsing itself. So you don't have to worry about rewrapping for rinsing. You just got to make sure that there is no soap on the foot before you dry. So after you do the toes, which is the last thing you do, you pick up and you may just want to run the washcloth all over the foot. That way the foot is not dripping water all over the place. You're going to bring the towel and you're going to place it on your leg. You're going to bring the foot. Of course, if I'm sitting right in front, the foot will be like right here on it. But I can't do it because of the way I'm sitting. You're going to bring the towel up and around, and you're going to dry the whole foot. You must dry every corner of the foot. Don't leave nothing wet, especially what? In between the toes. You don't want to leave no moisture because then the moisture is going to grow what? Fungi, right? And they're going to get crusted inside, and they're going to have bacteria build up. They're going to get an infection, especially the persons with diabetes that have cracks in between their toes and then gangrene can set in. And the only way to remove gangrene is to cut it off. So they start off with one toe, then all the toe, then half of the foot, then all the way down, then the heel, then up to here, then up to here, then up to the uh, knee, then from the knee, half of the thigh to the hip, and when there's no legs left, the person dies. Maybe a year, two years later, if they didn't catch it right. If they caught it, the person lives, you know, without their leg. Well, who wants to live without their leg? You can't walk no more. I'll be in a wheelchair for the rest of your life. No. All right, so it's, the foot is completely dry. Lotion. Warm it up. What are you going to lotion? The top of the foot, right? Especially the heel. Because it gets really crusty. So the heel, right? The bottom of the foot, make sure you get the ball of the foot because of walking, walking, walking. Sometimes they get calluses. Make sure they get the heel. You're providing a massage as well while you're doing this. Don't go up the leg. That's not your job. <laughs> it's only the foot, all right? They, they're happy enough with the feet. They're like, oh my goodness, don't stop, right? Do not put any lotion in between the toes. No lotion in between the toes, none. All right. Make sure you put the socks and the shoes back on. The feet. This goes in the garbage. Hamper. Hamper. Personal equipment. Personal equipment goes in the drawer. Chucks in the garbage. This water goes in the sink. There's no body fluid in the sink. Wash, rinse, dry. This goes under here. Personal equipment. You're going to leave the patient sitting there. You're not going to move them from anywhere. That's where she was sitting. Make sure she has her call bell. Open up the curtain. Wash your hands. Tell the process is still a complete. 